In Prairie, now the latest city trying to make it easier just to grab a drink. A group of businesses kicked off a petition drive today to change the city's liquor laws. Jason Allen, live for us over in Grand Prairie. So, Jason, just to start with, because a lot of people live in cities right now where everything's just fine, you can do whatever you want. But there, the laws are actually a little bit different when it comes to being served, depending on where you're at in the city, right? Right, Doug, because if you're over in Dallas County, voters over there, they, they changed the law decades ago. But here in Tarrant County, where they're trying to get people right now to sign on to this petition effort, that same vote never happened, which businesses say has led to really a costly and a complicated set of rules for customers. Business owners in Grand Prairie are tapping into big voter turnout this month to try to make a liquor law change they say is long overdue. It's a great opportunity for everybody. It helps with jobs, the, the whole economy. With the location between two counties, Grand Prairie businesses on the Dallas side have more freedom to sell alcohol than those on the Tarrant side. At the Oasis Marina on Joe Pool Lake, Don Walker's on the side where he can't just serve a customer a beer. He has to have them join a private club first, costing him an extra fifty to $60,000 a year. They then put us on the same playing field, level playing field. As my competitors. And faced with signing up and sending in personal information, Chili's manager Jonathan Harris told us customers often just don't want the hassle. I imagine there's people then who say, uh, bring me an iced tea. Absolutely. Yeah, happens all the time. The effort has the support of the Chamber of Commerce, which cited studies that legal sales could add more than a million dollars in sales tax each year. The population growth and business growth has boosted support, Walker told us, for a change he's been after for years. And I really couldn't get the ear of the city council so much back then. But now, of course, they are. This group needs to collect about 8,400 signatures over the next 60 days. They're doing all right, Doug. Right now, they already have about 2,000 of those. Hey, can I ask you about, though, uh, so this, we're focused on restaurants with your story right here. Talk to me about liquor stores because they're in and around the city, but how does this, this talk and this vote affect that? It, it, it would affect that. This is a change to allow all legal alcohol sales across the whole city. So it would allow stores in. Right now, any of those liquor stores in the area, they are just outside of the city limits in Arlington. And I'm imagining a few might want to make a move, maybe, or a few open up shop. Jason Allen, we appreciate the update. Again, the vote less than a couple of weeks away. And today, Nat